Y'all know how I always say, never pass up a teachable moment. I'm at Wally World. Had to get some diesel exhaust fluid. It's cheaper at Wally World than it is at the auto parts stores by like $3 a jug. And this is this is for my truck. Um, and I keep a gallon of oil and I need another spray bottle because the one I make my home brew penetrating fluid in, somebody, somebody uh, let a chain rub up against it and bust a damn hole in the side of the bottle. But anyway, never pass up a teachable moment. I'm here in the store, come up here. Oh, okay, I'm tripping. Thought I had a nail or something stuck in, stuck in my, and uh, I always, you know, you, you, you gotta have some junk in the bed of your pickup truck. And, uh, freaking, now, are you gonna stay? Okay, let's do it like this. I don't trust this thing. I'm inside, buying stuff, get in line for, to get rang up. Dude gonna, well, uh, uh, uh sir, you looking at my stuff, uh, you can go over to the self check out I said now nah, I ain't running no cash here cash register I don't work here I said it just like that I don't work here I'm a customer well I mean other people okay so tell you what dude I said I'm a tow operator I said okay and he said just like that okay and I said if I came if I came I said uh I've towed Walmart trucks before you know, breakdown, accidents, all kind of other stuff. I said, now, well, I'm not a driver. I said, that's cool. I get it. I said, but if I drive up in the tow truck and get out and hand the gloves to your truck driver, he going to look at me like I'm crazy. I say, well, what are you doing? And I say, well, this is the equivalent of the self-checkout at the effing Walmart. He gonna look at me like I'm crazy. Tell me, man, that ain't my job. This your job. It's your truck. I'm the customer. And guess what? He's 100% right. 100% right. So why in the hell am I gonna, uh, uh, am I getting a discount to ring myself out. Of course, we know the answer to that is no. So why should I do your clerk's job? Changing my lawyer. Yeah, they, they barely smell, is almost dead. So why should I um, run a cash register and I get to pay full price? I said, now if they had something like 5% off of this and and except for food except for produce and stuff like that because you don't really don't make no money on that anyway produce is just something to get you over there in the grocery side i bs you not but uh i didn't learn that until until uh we opened our damn little store learned the whole boy you learn a whole the, don't get me started the stuff you learn from running your own store but uh, I'm not a litter bug. I hate litter bugs. I hate when I watch people just take stuff and throw it on the freaking ground. You know, freaking litter bugs. But uh, dude, I'll wait right here and let the person that's uh, run, cause that's all they want you to do is y'all just force yourselves to do that to the point well, they notice that no one is going to the register anymore. And then they just uh, throwing the, uh, I mean throwing. Then they're uh, just doing doing it themselves. They're trying to get you conditioned. Well, you ain't conditioning me. Uh, because you, somebody going to ring this mess up. Or somebody going to uh, knock something off my bill. Or pay me for ringing this mess up. If not then I ain't doing it.
So yeah, but you can't compare. He said, well, you can't compare this to operating a tow truck. I said, no, I said, well, but most of the time, the only way you can uh, deal with something absurd is by being even more, deal with absurdity is being equally, if not more absurd than the original thing that you're dealing with. Got to walk a country mile to get a trash can. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, my man. And he just looked at me, hunched up his shoulders and said, point taken. Now, why did it have to go? Is he that tied into the machine or uh, wired to the game that, uh, you know, that he want to, that he want to go that far? All of them doing it. I mean, look, even my favorite grocery store, H-E-B. Now, they still have registers open, but they got a speedy checkout thing, too. I ain't going in there either. Not going to happen. Anyway, y'all, I'll sit y'all there. And uh, always take that out of the holster because I'm, I'm, I don't want to rub a hole in these damn seats. We ain't doing no drive time. I was just sitting it down while I get myself organized. Um, we plan on going, uh, going live tonight to finish up from what we is doing last night with uh that um uh judge nom that nominee for judge that uh Joe bite me. Uh, old side row Joe then put up then thrown under the bus because he should have known the jokers like me out here waiting on him and uh, I'm open up with some Vlad TV if I forget y'all remind me to uh to cover the Vlad the Vlad crap because he's um he got uh that uh LeVar Ball dude in that folding metal chair there and he and he trying to and he drag trying to drag Shaq. Now anybody know me? No, I'm not a Shaq fan. I'm not a Shaq hater. I mean, it's like it's Shaq, so eh, you know. Oh well, he does this and that's great, and he does this and that's great. I'm, that's what I'm saying. But I'm not a tail rider. And then you know when his media company done that uh, no vaccine, no fucking. Uh, thing with with that uh, cinnamon toast crunch uh, do and it's always a black black cinnamon toast crunch eaters they just gotta be extra extra over the top with it but I guess they trying to compete with the average black American female average average because there's a whole bunch of females that ain't into that extra crap they ain't into that trashy crap and a lot of them is right here on youtube and a lot of them is in uh, uh watch me on here that ain't into that trashy extra crap and them the women that i applaud and i hold up them trashy oops sorry Ooh, walk it off gravity is undefeated Gravity is undefeated. I will let your ass, I'll let the ground catch your goofy ass. So, you know, Shaq pushing the jab. He, man, he was pushing that jab. He, no, I said, he another one that put, pushing the hell out of that jab. Look, man, you know, if, if it was up to me, you wouldn't have a choice. Well, it ain't up to you, Shaq. It's not up to you. Okay, so I guess he figured, well, let me go ahead and fund this no vaccine, no fucking thing. And I put a beat to it because I know how Negroes get down. All you got to do is put a beat to it. And they and and, and I know what a beat is. You know how you be seeing the, the, the Indian snake charmer? And he waving his turban at the cobra. No, I ain't playing Egypt, Egypt from uh, Dr. 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 Dre, oh, ah, oh, ah, Egypt. 
And they say, and then that's the killer part. The name of the song was Egypt is the place to be. We're going, dun, 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 dun. that's not Egyptian, that's Indian. Indian and e India and Egypt are two totally different countries. Egypt's in Africa. India is in Asia. Come on, Drake. But I guess he figured these niggas don't know no better. And guess what? Anyway. So on, on with the Shaq thing. But even though I'm not into that, I ain't a, I'm not a quote unquote hater. I'm not. So that this LeVar Ball, you know, trying, you know, the um talk get the, that slick at the mouth and you gotta do this and you ain't the boss and you work for somebody and this, this, and this and this. Look, man, would you rather have now I, I, I ain't no right or wrong answer? Cause when you start adding zeros on stuff, some people mind a change. That's like saying, okay, Nick, would you rather make $110,000 a year for somebody else or make $100,000 working for yourself? I'll take the $100,000 working for myself. Because that $10,000, I mean, the, the freedom and flexibility is probably going to way outweigh that $10,000. But then you go to, okay, would you rather make $100,000 uh, for yourself or make ten of two million dollars a year working for now we talking a whole different dynamic. <laughs> so I gotta sit up here, commentate after sports games, you know, or how the game went, who won, who lost, what they done wrong, what they could have done, blah blah, skip the blah, deal with uh Chuck and Kenny the Jet and and, and uh uh EJ. And you know what I mean? What, what not? That now you talk talking different stuff now. But anyway, Lavar Ball. Sometimes you get he gets a little too far out of pocket for me. For me, I'm speaking for me. Nobody else. But to sit here, to go up here and sit in front of this effing Vladimir, and and try to drag. Shaq's success of the stuff that he that he has done. Look, mama got a house, got this, kids, you buy this, charities, and and put out a, a sneaker, you know, uh, to, for Walmart to sell, uh, but for the kids that can't afford that can't afford them. But you know, and he talking about, well, hell, I put out a sneaker, yeah, but every kid. Every every mama now some some people do go above and beyond do some dumb crap uh, live above their means but some mamas and daddies are smart enough I ain't buying my my twelve year old no two hundred fifty two hundred dollar two hundred three hundred dollar pair of shoes I'm gonna get on some and ones with Shaq hanging on the rim on the side of it or whatever I think they call and ones I think and um and and that's it. And we gonna run like that. And plus your own son said that the shoes was trash. And they done signed contracts with other people. Your own son said the shoes was trash. You had your time in the lime light, lime light but nah, he gonna go up here and sit up here and trash Shaq on Vlad of all damn places. We gonna, we'll get into that later on tonight too. Y'all be good and be safe. I should see y'all about seven-ish, between seven and eight o'clock Central Standard Time. Peace.